We haven't even hung our sign up and we've made 50 bucks. Come on now, come on now. All right, question of the day. How much money are we gonna make at the garage sale? How much money? Now you are like, wait a minute, how am I gonna guess that? Well, I'm gonna show you everything right now and see what your uh, bargaining and dickering skills are. Have you ever heard of that term, dickering? It's like basically negotiating is what it means. It's a common term in Maine. All right, here we go. Tools. Huh. We're, we already sold three chairs, so there's only two left. The chairs went for three dollars each. It's a little help you out. Okay, we got the bed. This is an old bed. We got more stuff up there. We got this lawnmower. Ooh, this, this. <laughs> Seth, you're not for sale. You're not for sale. <laughs> ah, we got the chest. This is a nice chest to everybody. And then we got some of this up here. Okay. And then just some random little stuff. Racks. Now oh, we got a regular sale here. I know. This is serious. We've got a lot of stuff. So, and then some clothes. All right. Oh, comment below. Who, wh whoever's closest gets a high five. <laughs> he wants to keep the cleaning thing. All right. How much do, how much do we make? Seeing if any of my stuff on the roof can sell. We just, um, yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of, we, are, we have a ladder. We don't need a second ladder, we really don't. That one would be taller, but I think we're gonna sell it. Don't need two of everything. Huh? Huh? I told you the day was not done. One of our neighbors, her sister, uh, just got a, her own apartment for the first time ever. And basically, she just said, I'll take like whatever's left. And so, I mean, if we would have sold it separately, probably could have got um, maybe like 150 for everything. But instead, I said 100 bucks for everything. And uh, the day is late, so it's just awesome. Now that the stuff is gone, stuff is gone, let's reclaim the yard, right? Let's reclaim it. This little area has been a little eyesore for quite some time, so yes, you know what I'm about to do. Plant more grass seed, here we go. Okay, this dirt patch needs some loving. Easy seed. That's what we're doing, come on now. Isn't that amazing? What Table's what gone. Like less than eight minutes. It's clear. What House is clear. What two said. two doors down. Two, that. I think that way. Oh, oh, the baby, just had the baby uh, yeah. So, oh hun, where's that food? In there, but leave the you know what. Okay. The you know what? Um, oh yeah. We okay. earned food today. Huh? We earned food today. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the yard sale is finished. What did we come to, hon? It's, oh, so the question of the day I asked at the beginning of the day okay. was, how much do you think we're going to make? Oh, well, that'll be interesting. So comment below. I mean, if you're like a garage sailor, yard sale person, you'll, you you'll might have a good educated guess. If you haven't guessed yet, pause right now and go oh, down yeah. and, and make your guess because we're going to tell guess. you. Yep. But first, <laughs> our neighbor pause came. Pause that drum roll. Pause it. Our neighbor came over. Yeah. And noticed these Chinese urns. Now, these were my grandparents, which they purchased in China on a trip. Who knows how long ago? Yeah. It could have been 50 years ago. Yeah. And she said, our neighbor recommended that we do a little research and don't just sell them for 10 bucks each or 15 bucks each. Like, these could actually be worth something. Thousands. She 
said maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so this total that we're about to tell you could go way, way, way. <laughs> Stay posted. Keep coming back. We'll keep. We'll let you guys know. But we're gonna we're gonna do a little research before we sell these. If you are a Chinese urn expert. Comment below and let us know if we found something good just based on what you're looking at here. All right, hon, how'd we do? Total all in with a lot of ones, $330. Three, three, zero, baby. Actually, 331 in change, but I gave oh. the change to the kids for the P-Bank. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. Great victory. Don't touch it over. <laughs> uh, so, victory, we did it. I am shocked, I am grateful, and I mean, because at the end of the day, it. Most of it was somebody's junk, and the other stuff was really actually awesome stuff from Wynn. Thank you. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, she was just going to pop it off at Goodwill anyway. So we might as well turn it into a little profit, and uh, that'll buy some gas money, yep. some date nights, and yep. some uh, groceries. Yeah, yeah, it will, actually. Else. And it was such a fun day sitting out on our patio. Our neighbor there goes our table. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Where's he going? He might have gotten it for a friend. That is hilarious. Our table just went by in the truck that, that we that actually funny. let go for free yeah. because it was kind of junky. Yeah. So that was at the end of the well, day. There it goes. There it goes. Anyway, we love you guys and uh, keep seeking beauty out there. Working hard. Working hard at the garage sale and dickering. If you don't know what dickering is, look it up. It's a term for um, bartering and negotiating. Yeah, mad skills. Mad skills. And love each other. See you tomorrow. And you want to blow up the camera. Yeah. That was fun. Huh?